What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is a very exciting video. Today we're doing all dupes. So we're doing really cheap products and I'm duping them for really high-end stuff. So hopefully this will save you a lot of money. Um, there are some seriously, like before I even get into the video, there are some seriously good dupes in this video that honestly, like they have me very excited about, I don't know, just about makeup and I don't know. I just feel like this is a really good one and there's some stuff in here that you probably haven't seen before which is also good because sometimes the dupe videos get a little repetitive. I love these kind of videos, I love to save money um, where I can and learn about makeup of course, like hello, we're all here for that. So anyway, this is the look that I created, hold on I have to sneeze, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, before you watch this video I want you guys to take a guess on which side is the high end side and which side is the dupe side. Take your guesses, okay. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy the video. And so, we're gonna start with primer. The first dupe that I have is the NYX Pore Filler, and this is a really good dupe for the Smashbox Photo Finish. I'm gonna do the dupes on this side. A lot of people say that this is a dupe for the Benefit Pore Professional, and I don't think that it's a dupe for the Pore Professional, but I do think it's a good dupe for the Smashbox one. Um, this one's just a little bit more, uh, what's the word? I don't know, it's just not, the Professional is just a lot silkier than this one is. They're both really good. They do minimize your pores, but these are more similar than the Benefit. Now I'm using the Smashbox, but I don't usually put pore, like pore minimizing all over my face. I usually just do it in my T-zone, but I guess I'll just do that today. <laughs> these feel literally identical on my face. Like there is l no difference at all. These both leave like a really nice velvety kind of feel to your face, which I actually like. So the next dupe I have is the Milani Conceal and Perfect. This is the two in one foundation. And I saw this on Pinterest. So I don't know if these are totally dupes. I haven't tried them, you know, both on my face at once, but they said that it's a dupe for the Born This Way foundation, which I love both of these. I could definitely see how somebody could say that. This one's more of like a right away. It's pretty full coverage, but this one is more like a medium coverage that you can build up. Um, but they do have a similar kind of look and feel on your face. This one just looks a little bit more natural. This one is like, I. this is like one of my favorite foundations ever. I mean, they both are. I'm going to use the Real Techniques sponge. You can get this at Walgreens, Ulta. Uh, Target probably I don't know about Target but yeah you can pretty much get this everywhere and a oh, Walmart and it's so cheap you can get two of these for ten dollars something like that and then I'm gonna use a beauty blender on this side Milani on that side so I bought this in my spring haul back a while ago and I have been using this since I have not touched my beauty blender since I bought this for some reason I think these are better I like that they're bigger um, they're super soft and I just feel like my makeup looks a little bit better. I don't know why that is. Um, and I'm really, like, when I was thinking about it, I'm like, because I kind of used to hate on dupes and, like, Beauty Blender sponge dupes. And I was like, nothing's going to beat the Beauty Blender. Since then, I've kind of uh, gone back on that statement because this is really good. And I definitely prefer it. And at the end of the day, it's just like, it's a beauty sponge, you know? Like, why would I pay $20 for a beauty sponge? I don't get that. They don't maybe have the longevity of a beauty blender, but they definitely um, beat it in price. Like, you can get four of these for the price of a beauty blender. The other problem with these is that they don't, like, once they get really dirty, it's really hard to clean them. Like, it's, it's hard to um, get, like, that crap out of there, like the foundation. So, um, at that point, you just have to buy a new one. I hope these are good color. Oh, yeah, they actually are. So, I'm using light beige in... Oh, they're both called light beige. That's really funny. I guess I would consider these pretty good dupes of each other. Um, they both look really similar on the skin. Neither of them will settle into your fine lines. Um, they have a really good formula. You can build both of them up if you want to. Um, the Milani one, you don't really have to build up as much. And I could see definitely how those could be dupes. So, so I just did my concealer, but I have a cream dupe. Um, that I wanted to show you guys before I do my powder. Everybody knows probably the Benefit Watts Up. Um, it hasn't been talked about in a while because there are kind of like a lot of, I feel like there's a lot of dupes out there to be honest. This used to be so just, I don't know, it used to be so popular. It used to be like a cult favorite thing. Um, and I used to love this. I wore this like all throughout college. Well, I'm still in college, but like my freshman year, I guess. Um, but the dupe that I have is the 
Jordana Glow and Go stick. So yeah, they're really similar. I feel like the formula is pretty much the same. I mean, it's a cream stick. Um, and when it comes to cream sticks, I don't really like highlighting sticks. I don't really think that you should splurge on those. This is stupid and expensive. Um, I think it was like two dollars or something. So I have two powders here, translucent powders. One is the RCMA powder. This is $12. Um, and then I have the Laura Mercier, which is obviously, this is a little one, but this is obviously much more expensive. I've been using the Laura Mercier for probably, that's like pretty much the only one that I've used ever. So um, I just got this, it's pretty new to me. I am still trying it out. I think that it's good. And if you watch Jaclyn Hill, which I'm sure that you do, she really likes it. So I'm gonna use this to bake with, and then I'm gonna use this to bake with. One major drawback though is the RCMA has the worst packaging. <sighs> Just drives me crazy. I will say, I feel like I like the Laura Mercier the best. Like that look, to me that looks like, I don't know, better for some reason. I don't know, I mean it's powder, so I'm just gonna wipe it off anyway. But I am gonna do my brows. Um, just so you guys know, I'm gonna use the Catrice Eyebrow Pencil. I don't have a expensive dupe. Well, I guess this could be a dupe for like the Anastasia Brow Pencil. Um, any other like expensive pencil that's just literally like a pencil. I just wouldn't splurge on something like that, you know? It's just like, this is a great... If you're looking for a good one, this is a great one. You know, I talk about this in all my videos. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna use. Um, brow products are something that I just, I'm not willing to splurge on, so yeah. I feel like I like the Laura Mercier just a little bit better, and I'm not just saying that, you know, because it's the more expensive one. So this is the Physician's Formula Bronze Booster. It's their contour palette, and it has a really good drugstore cool toned shade for contouring, which I really, appreciates. So I am calling this a dupe for the Smashbox um, contour kit, which I really like this contour kit. Um, I think that it's really good for, I think it has a really good contour shade. I don't ever use that bronze shade and I don't use the bronze shade in here. Um, but I do, and I don't really use the light shade either, but I do really like the contour shades in both of these. But Physicians Formula kind of drives me crazy with its prices because I just think that it's expensive for, uh, the drugstore. I don't know if you guys can see, but that looks, like I'm looking in the mirror and I honestly can't even tell the difference. So yeah, I, the first tip I have is the Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula. You guys know um, that this is my favorite bronzer of all time. I am saying that this is a dupe for the Makeup Forever. This is the Pro Fusion or bronze, pro bronze fusion. Um, they have very similar, let me just kind of show you, it's kind of funny. You can kind of see it's funny because they have like this wave on them both, but they have this kind of, they're really soft to the touch, so um, they immediately reminded me of each other when you swatch them, and if you have the Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion, if you go overboard with the contour and it looks a little bit muddy, they both kind of do that same thing where they diffuse uh, that line and they just look really good and they blend really well into the skin. So um, I like both of them. I love the Butter Bronzer and I definitely recommend that one. Okay, so I didn't have a blush dupe, so I just did um, just a blush, but I have a really good this is a really good dupe and it's kind of like, it kind of scares me a little bit because the fact that companies can make things that are this similar kind of freaks me out. So I have found a dupe for the Glow, That Glow Glow Kit and this is by Anastasia. This is, um, I'm pretty sure this was either discontinued or well, it was limited edition but like everybody loved it and it's like why wouldn't you make that limited edition, you know? But their glow kits are amazing as everybody knows. These are the shades. 
They're awesome for summertime. I always use this. I still use this to this day. Um, and I love like the Starburst shade. I love those shades. This is just an awesome, like I just, I think the colors in here are just awesome. So anyway, I found a dupe. It is by Beauty Creations and I bought, I got this on shophush.com. So I will be linking it below, of course, um, because I want you guys to get this if you want. But it is called the Scandalous Glow. So it looks like this. Pretty similar, I would say. I mean, I think they did that on purpose. They have a lot of things. Uh, it's kind of like one of those brands that does a lot of dupes, but the quality of this, I am shocked. I am shocked. So yeah, these are pretty similar, wouldn't you say? Here's So here's the pros about this one. And you know, besides the price, I think this was like $10 or $12, 10 or $12 for this. And the other one was like, this is $40. I feel like you get a lot of products because, you know, we don't go through highlighters as much as we do other products, but formula is good. There's a mirror, which the glow kits do not have a mirror. There's a mirror in here. Um, I think it's a little bit smaller, which is good for traveling. I'm a little bit shocked. Like, I don't know, things like this, like these things in makeup just make me really happy. So I'm gonna do this and this like kind of combined just so, yeah, I'm gonna do that for my highlight. So on the other one, of course, I'm gonna do like that and that combined. I mean, that's pretty crazy. I mean, the sunburst shade is, has always been like a really good just summery shade, especially if you're kind of tan. Um, and I just put a lot on. I usually don't put that much on. So again, that is the Beauty Creation Scandalous Glow. Anyway, I'm very proud of myself for finding that dupe, so I hope that you guys check that link out. Um, and I don't make any money off of that, of course, so. So, right after that dupe, which I thought was like the best one of the year, um, I have a dupe for the Anastasia Modern Renaissance Palette. So, as we all know, we probably all know, it looks like this. Um, and I love that palette. Obviously, that was like the palette of 2016, or wait, maybe, yeah. That, I, I, it's, it still is the palette, honestly, in my opinion. Well, Anastasia is on the little, the pricier end of makeup, so I did find a dupe, which is the, well, I'm gonna test it out. I'm not sure, like, how the, well, the shadows are, because Anastasia probably has, like, the best, one of the best shadow formulas, eyeshadow formulas. So, this is also by Beauty Creations, and is called the Irresistible the irresistible palette a little bit smaller which I actually kind of like I like when palettes are travel friendly this is obviously another one of those where it's like a dupe it's meant to be a dupe so I'm gonna say what shade I'm using in the Anastasia palette and then I'm gonna you can kind of you know match it up to which one I'm using in the irresistible palette this one was also on shop hush and I believe it was only $15 so I'm gonna start out with tempura which is like just you know to set my lid because I need to set it I have some concealer buildup and I am cleaning my brush off just so you guys know <laughs> okay so I'm gonna use burnt orange I'm just putting that in my crease This also has a mirror in it, which I just think is like the best for how cheap it is because usually like that's the first thing to go with cheap palettes. I think that looks really nice. Um, I don't think that this is going to be as pigmented, but it did build up to the shade that I wanted it to and it blends out really nicely. If you're a beginner especially, like I feel like this palette will probably be pretty good. Okay, well those shades were exactly the same. So I am going to use Real Gar, which is in Anastasia palette, and in the Irresistible palette, it's called Mix Emotions. So I'm gonna go in with that.
You guys, I'm not mad about this pigmentation at all. This is pretty good. And I'm pretty picky. Now I'm going to go in with Real Gar. I don't know what about you guys, but that looks like the exact same. Okay, next I'm going to do Cypress Umber, which is like that dark chocolatey shade. And in this Irresistible palette, it's called um, Yours. I'm just going to put that on the outer corner. I'm doing kind of like a basic look today. Is it as pigmented as Cypress Umber? No, but usually when it's cheap palettes like that, the browns and the dark shades, like the dark mattes, are just not pigmented. But I feel like after I built it up, it was really, like that looks really good. I don't know how they made this palette so cheap. I'm just kind of confused about that. Next, I'm gonna use Cypress Umber. When you build them up, they look identical. Like, can you guys tell? No, probably not. Um, so yeah, that looks, I'm really, I'm honestly, I'm very impressed right now. I'm not even lying, so. <laughs> Next I'm gonna take, it's called Vermeer, uh, from the Anastasia palette, and then True Love in the Irresistible palette, and they are very similar. And I'm just gonna take that on my lid really quick. The hell? How are these pigments? Like, I'm so, I'm fucking confused. Like, that's bizarre. I did the cheap eye with this one, and I feel like it's even more shimmery than the one in the pat in the Anastasia palette. And I really like those shimmers in the Anastasia palette. So. All right, you guys know I like it, so um, let's just <laughs> move on. But honestly, you guys, 110% recommend. Moving on, I have a, another dupe, and this is another dupe for a limited edition item. I believe it's limited edition. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to check. But it is a dupe for the Too Faced Nude Beam uh, Glitter, and is the NYX Pigment in Vegas Baby. Let me show you the caps. Maybe you can see a little bit better. No. But I'm taking the um, <clears throat> the NYX pigment glitter whatever on this side and I'm just packing that on my lid. Oh shit. And then I'm wiping this off and then I'm going to take the um, Too Faced and then I'm taking the Too Faced on this side. I think that the NYX is a little bit more pigmented but for the most part they're pretty similar so yeah <laughs> anyway i have another really good dupe this is like one of my best vids i'm not gonna lie i feel like i have a lot of good dupes in here that are very like helpful like actual dupes i have a dupe for the kat von d liquid liner in well this is their tattoo liner which has the brush tip and it's different than her ink it liner which is the felt tip so so i love this one it's like to me it's the best liquid liner because it has the brush tip and it's easier to do cat eyes which, uh the dupe that i found is the nyx epic ink liner and i know a lot of people have said that the physician's formula is a dupe because it's a brush but this one is probably the best dupe in my opinion this one also has a brush tip and this is much cheaper than the physician's formula even so um, which is really nice. So I'm gonna do liner on both eyes yeah. Liner is done, which is the hardest part of the day. I don't know if you guys can tell um, But I feel like I like the NYX better But I did notice that it had it bled a little bit in this one crack in my eye 
but it feels dark. It's darker than the Kat Von D, which I want my eyeliner to be really dark. So I feel like I like the NYX, to be honest with you. And then for lashes, I'm going to, I have a pretty good lash dupe. So I'm going, these are a great dupe. I've been wearing these for years and um, the dupe is the Coco Lashes and Goddess. These are the cheap ones. They're like literally $3. And then these are the ones from House of Lashes and these are like 12 bucks. As you can see, they're very similar, if not totally the same. So I'm gonna be putting those on and then I will be right back. My lashes are on. They're a little big. <laughs> I need like smaller ones, but I used to wear these all the time. I mean, they're like so dramatic and crazy, but, and definitely too crazy for a Monday. That's okay. I just want to show you guys that they're very like similar. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, so I'm going to do the top lip with one, the bottom lip with the other. So the dupe I have is for Rio. I showed this on my Snapchat a while ago, but Rio is just like a gorgeous, like really cool toned, hot, hot pink shade. Pretty much like a neon pink. Um, but it just looks amazing. It looks amazing on people. Like you, if you've seen Rio on somebody, you you like know it's Rio. And the dupe I have is the is the Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit in what is this called? Oh my dolly. So I'm gonna do my bottom lip with this, and then my top lip with this one. But yeah, the, the Wet n Wild is a very, very, very affordable option if you like this shade. I think it's really good for shades like this where it's like, you know, you don't really want to spend a lot of money on a shade you don't feel like you're going to get a lot of use out of. But the days that you are feeling bold, it's kind of nice to have. And you can trust the Liquid Catsuit one because it's a pretty good formula and it does last all day. It's very comfortable too. Alright guys, that is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys learned a bunch of new dupes. I feel like there's some really good ones in here. Like, for me personally, I found a really, I mean, some really good dupes. Like, that is exciting to me. Like, this is what I love about makeup. I mean, I love everything about makeup, hello. But I just, I don't know. I love finding, like, things like this. Things like this that are, like, from companies, like, you know, that you don't really hear about often, but are so good and they perform like and they just shock you I don't know I just like things like that so um anyway uh thank you guys for watching I will see you in my next video like I said this summer I'm going to be trying to push out a ton of videos so hopefully I am back very soon with another one so don't forget to subscribe and I will talk to you guys later